Hey guys, Alex here. I uh, wanted to do a quick video, get my thoughts on tonight's Raw. Um, the big thing is that Paul Heyman is back on WWE television, which was really, really cool to see. Um, would have been a lot better if they were in a better town. Uh, no disrespect to North Carolina where they were, but no one in the crowd reacted barely. Like a few guys started reacting and started chanting ECW, but I mean, it's Paul Heyman. People should be freaking out for Paul Heyman. Does anyone not know who this guy is that watched WWE back you know, 10 years ago even. So, obviously people need to do their homework a little bit more, or at least just, or at least they knew a better job of knowing who this guy was. But, Paul Heyman got in the ring, talked about Brock Lesnar, and didn't miss a beat in, in his absence. I mean, this guy could still cut one of the greatest promos of all time. Uh, but just, God, is he good. Anyone that wants to be a wrestler, anyone who wants to be a manager, basically, or just, you know, learn how to cut a promo, watch Paul Heyman. I mean, the guy is just, he's, he's, one of the best at talking on the mic. He's on that mic. People are going to listen to him. He's going to do, get his job, his point across. He's just awesome on the mic. Um, obviously, the whole storyline right now is that Brock Lesnar is quitting the WWE, which should set up nicely for his return to SummerSlam. So, very nice job by WWE for giving a way to have him off television for a while. So, I'll buy it. I'll, I'll buy it. And uh, hopefully, Paul even sticks around. I really like Paul, and I hope he sticks around for a while. Especially because of the fact that Brock Lesnar just... He just can't get the mic work done. You know, he's not bad, but um, definitely doesn't match up very well. And especially if you're going to be in, like, main events situations, you need a guy like Paul Heyman there. Especially if he's going to be this whole corporate guy and, you know, he, he's all about the business aspect now. It just makes more sense, really. Um, also, a uh, big thing is that, well, not really so much a big thing, but, like, for me anyway, um, it looks like they're going to do the John Cena Lord and uh, John Laurinaitis match as the main event, which is the stupidest thing you could do. Uh, let me just point this out to you, okay? You have CM Punk versus Daniel Bryan as your main event. How is... Or your WWE title match. How is that not your main event? That is a match that every single internet fan, every single ROH fan, every single wrestling fan wants to see, okay, as a main event. Make it the main event. Don't put John Cena and John Laurinaitis on. If John Cena versus John Laurinaitis is not the main event, I probably won't mind. Don't make it long. Don't make, you know, don't overdo it. And I probably won't care. I'll, I'll probably give it, you know, a passing rating. But if it's a main event, you're going to get a shitstorm. Trust me. Okay? CM, or CM Punk versus Daniel Bryan. Main event. Done. Um, Fatal 4 match for the title. Or they've changed the World Heavyweight title now. It's Sheamus, Alberto Del Rio, Jericho, and Randy Orton for the world title. No complaints there. Looking forward to that match. Um, also, thing is here, uh, this is just personal for me, um, The Miz lost to Brodus Clay tonight. It just further showing that they don't give a shit about Miz anymore, or just they have no faith in The Miz. If, if I was WWE, this is what I would do, something, you know, I don't know how exactly, but either have The Miz quit, be fired, or get hurt, and, you know, this allow him to do his, the Marine 3, which he's going to be starring in, I guess. Um, the whole time he's gone, though, have him be doing YouTube videos. Have him cut promos about how he deserves to be back, or like if he's hurt or he quit, whatever. Talk about you know, talk about how he why he deserves to be back, why he's the greatest wrestler of all, superstar of all time, why he, you know, just you know, have him cut promos because he's a great promo guy. He can cut a great promo. You know, it's his wrestling style that's a little lacking. You know, um, have him come. You know, have him start showing about wrestling events. You know, cut promos about other wrestlers. You know, talk about how he's better than everyone. I don't know. Just. Have him talk. Have him make people actually interested in, in going out another way to see what this guy is about. Okay? And, you know, then have him make, come, make some big comeback, okay? And, you know, maybe get a throw, run after, with a champion, whoever it is at the time. But that's what I would do. It, yeah, and like someone said, like, oh, what's well, like, exact A friend of mine said, like, well, that's exactly what they did with the uh, him and R-Truth. Yeah, but they didn't commit to it. They did it for a month, and then they, you know, oh, okay, we need to bring it back now, you know? No, give it, like... Two, th you know, three, four months of Miz being gone off television, just talking on YouTube and cutting promos on internet, and see what that does. Okay, you know, WWE is all about you know having their their stupid, you know, internet and Twitter things. Well, use them on Twitter then. Have Miz be talking on Twitter, bashing the company or whatever, saying how they need him. Blah 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 blah. Okay, it's basic stuff. Kevin Steen did it, you know, in ROH, and look at that. He's the biggest star in ROH right now. Okay. Just my opinion, you know, if you guys think you can think of a better way to have Miz be booked, you know, I'm sure a lot of guys want to see him fired, I don't want to see him fired, because I think he can, he has what, he has enough there to get by, maybe not as a main event, but at least a mid-card guy, but, 
just tell me what you guys think, okay? And um, let me give me your give me your thoughts on Paul Heyman, you know, over limit, all that stuff. But that's it for now. Take care. Bye.